Hello everyone, it is Andrew from MAO Magic, and I'm here with the little baby brother of the Hue lineup, the Hue Lux, which is going to come in at $19 for a single bulb, or you can get it in the starter set with two bulbs and the bridge. This is a really good entry point if you're kind of hesitant about getting to the smart connected light bulbs and you didn't want to pay the 180 or so dollars for the uh, Hue normal set with the colored bulbs. The main difference here is this one's going to come in just one color, not the 16 million colors that a normal hue bulb can do. This is going to be just one. It's going to be a kind of a warm yellowish white light. Not too yellow, but just a warm light. Not any of the bluer tints or anything like that, and those won't change. This is going to have an output of about 750 lumens compared to the Hue bulb, which can do 600 lumens, or the Hue can lights, which are going to be about 630. Though those can change color to be a little bit more on the blue or bright side, so they will be comparable. Like those may even look brighter than the Lux bulb, even though this is outputting more lumens. Like the rest of the Hue line, or most of the Hue line, it has a standard E26 base, so it'll go into any light socket. The top of it is glass, and the bottom part is a hard plastic. You can tell here it's a little bit more white in the body, and has Lux printed on it, compared to the standard Hue bulbs, which are going to come in silver. Other than that, these are pretty much identical. The Hue Lux is slightly uh, lighter in weight, but it's not really going to make much of a difference at all. The still will talk over the Zigbee wireless protocol to the bridge that will be connected to your router. It does not use Bluetooth like some like the Misfit Bolt uses to connect directly to your phone. To install, you can simply plug the bulb in into any standard light socket like my little card lamp here. And then you can go ahead and launch the app. We're going to use the standard Hue app to set this up, even though because they have an API, there are dozens of other Hue apps in the marketplace that you can use to control your lights. So we're going to go ahead and launch the app. On the top left-hand side, we'll open the menu. It'll see it already has found that light where it says uh, new lights have been found. Or you can go in here manually and auto search for any new lights that you have in the system. But here you can see right there, new lights have been found, and it'll automatically walk you through setting it up. If we close this and go into our lights menu, you'll see at the bottom we have Lux Lamp 1. It is already named that, and that does not seem very descriptive, so we can go in here and go to My Lights, choose Lux Lamp 1, and change that to Bedroom Floor Lamp. We can just type that in, and you can also rearrange these however works for you. Move that up a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and go back. So we're back in the lights, and we'll pull down, and here you can see all of our other bulbs. You will see all of them here except for our new Lux bulb, because all of these you can change the color, and you cannot do that on the Lux. So here you can even see on the top we have these different shades of white. Those are not available to us. The only thing you can do with the Lux is dim it here in this main menu. So you can move it up and down on the slider, and that's going to dim the bulb. Uh, on the regular hue lights, you can do all the different colors like you can see below, or you can do a warm, white, or even that bluish uh, light here on the top. So even though you're lacking the ability to change colors, you're still getting everything else the hue system affords, such as alarms and timers, geofencing for turning on when you arrive or turning off when you leave, uh, all the other selected apps that they have in the app store that are using that Hue API, such as Ift, so you can use that to tie into like the Jawbone Up. So if I wake up in the morning, turn on my lights. Well, I'd hope you would wake up. Uh, you can also use it with the Hue Tap if you have one of those available as well. Uh, lastly, I want to show you a couple of the cool things, such as the abilities on the Apple Watch using the new updated Hue app. So it'll appear on your Apple Watch just like the rest of them do. It takes a few seconds to load, but once it does, you'll have the ability to jump into a bunch of presets that you've kind of assigned to your watch. So right now I only have a couple different on here, but just with one tap, you can jump into those scenes or presets. So not only does Hue have an app, which is it... It's okay. There's also one called iConnect Hue, which is not cheap and has a kind of a, a few different uh, in-app purchases to enable a lot of the main features, but it has been one of the most successful and one of the best apps I've seen out here uh, for the Hue line itself. It uh, separates everything into different rooms. So here we have like the all living room, bedroom, kitchen, everything like that. I can jump into bedroom and you can choose a different scene like low light, nighttime, and even change the uh, brightness here on the top. 
So if you're looking for a good Apple Watch app to control your Lux or anything like that, this would be a good one to check out. Other than that, there isn't a lot more to say about the, the Lux. It is a standard Hue bulb, which I am a huge fan of, and I know a lot of other people are as well. It does a great job, and I don't really have any complaints. It's $19 to get into uh, for any of those rooms that you don't need the colors. If you have any questions at all, throw them up in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, and I, uh, I guess I'll see you guys all next time.